Hey, Miles here, milesbecker.com. In this video, you're going to learn a success secret from autocross racing, a type of motorsport, and the Navy SEALs, which is one of the elite forces here in the United States of America. You see, I grew up racing cars a lot, and my brother-in-law worked very closely with the SEALs as he was an EOD in the Navy, and I spent a lot of time with him and some of the SEALs that he lived with over on Coronado Island. And out of these two completely different disciplines and activities and, and, and spheres of life, there is one extremely common thread and idea that they both apply and it will serve you greatly when you apply it to your business. So what is that big idea? It is very simple. It's that slow is smooth and smooth is fast. Too often people get really excited about starting a business and they jump in full speed ahead and they really start running full speed in a direction that they maybe haven't fully thought about, don't fully understand. Now I'm all about the fire ready aim approach, but you need to be sure you're always taking and keeping in mind your energy management process. You see, when a Navy SEAL team is working together in a foreign kind of environment, if you will, and they're trying to do their job, they don't run, they don't walk slowly, they have this pace that is a brisk walk, if you will. And ultimately, that allows them to move forward with confidence, it allows them to move forward quickly without potentially getting themselves into too much trouble. In the autocross world, there is the same idea applied that if you come out of the gates too quickly, or if you enter any corner too quickly, you're gonna screech the tires, you're gonna have to hit the brakes, you're gonna slow your process through that corner, and ultimately, you're gonna slow down your entire time trial and you will not be competitive if that is your approach. It's the slow is smooth and smooth is fast idea that really the best autocross drivers in the country, the ones that, that literally win the, the championships, they, they don't even look like they're going that fast. They don't make much noise, the tires aren't screeching. It is an incredibly smooth process and that is ultimately the fastest way through those courses. And this really is something you need to apply to your business. You see, the finish line, there's no expiration date on the finish line, right? You need to learn how to run your own race. You need to understand from the amount of time that you have available, the amount of energy that you have available, the amount of experience that you're bringing to the table, what is that optimum smooth pace that you can maintain for years on end. It's the individuals who go all in with these immense amounts of energy, focus in one or two weeks, and then they burn out. Then they get overwhelmed. Then they don't look at their business for two or three weeks straight. That is probably one of the biggest challenges facing a lot of entrepreneurs getting started. That and the challenge of being able to ignore all the fake gurus who promise the fast riches and the easy riches. You see, you need to essentially commit to a specific plan for your business. You're gonna to need to grow an audience, you're gonna to need to grow an email list, and you're ultimately going to need to connect people with products that they want, whether it's a, a deep need or a want, or it solves a problem, or it helps them achieve a goal. That is the ultimate basic recipe for success with online business. And then you need to be able to do the actual daily activities, day in, day out, week in, week out, month in, month out, and year in, and year out for very long periods of time with very consistent amounts of effort. This is why I really encourage people to do a 90 day challenge to get things started with their content marketing. You essentially force that learning curve, you squish that learning curve down to where you are able to then be a prolific content publisher on one specific platform. And at that point, you are able to find your marathon runner's pace, which you've probably heard me talk about a lot before, where you're ultimately able to then get into your own groove. And it's just you versus you. You are not competing with me and my effort and my approach and what I'm doing. And the fact that I've been doing this for potentially longer than you have. You are only competing with you. Sure, there's other competitors in your niche who maybe already have the rankings for the keywords that you desire. They maybe already have the 10,000 subscriber list that you ultimately desire. But the moment you start, it is not actually you versus them. It's you versus you. And it becomes an energy management game and it becomes a consistency of effort game. And when you realize the truth that slow is smooth and smooth is fast, then you're able to focus 
all of your effort on that slow, smooth approach to the daily activities. Now, if you're not doing content marketing, right? The one piece of content per day approach to grow your audience organically, that's fine. You have a different approach. You find that budget range that you're comfortable investing every day inside of the ad platform. You spend the time to learn the ad platform and you run your split tests. You test your ad copy, you test your audiences, you test your landing page copy, you test your sales page copy, and ultimately you do a lot of email marketing through follow-up because that's where you make all of your money is on the back end of your funnel. When you're able to zoom out and understand that every successful business that feels like a complex system that someone's created is actually a lot of simple things that are done in sequence with each other. And when you focus in on each one of these simple little activities and you go through the learning curve to get good at each and every one of them, you do so on a pace that you're comfortable with. It gives you time to rest. It gives you time to exercise, gives you time to spend time with your family. It gives you time to go to your day job so you can pay your bills and then you're still taking your daily actions, your weekly, monthly, yearly actions towards your goal of creating your business on the side, it simply becomes a matter or a question of when. When are you going to achieve the results you desire, right? If you're taking the correct actions, you're focusing your efforts on being of service to an audience, and then you're applying scale through the search engines, through email marketing, through ad platforms, you stick with that long enough, you will ultimately create the success that you desire. It might not be the exact first idea that you came out of the gates with. You will end up pivoting many times. You will try different products. You'll try different headlines. You'll try different offers. You may even try different niches and that's perfect. But as long as you carry on doing the correct daily activities, paying attention to the results and honoring the fact that slow is smooth and smooth is fast and you stick with it for the long term, you will ultimately effectively create the results and the business that you desire. And I try to help you understand this as a mental reframe to give you a new mental model to apply that is contrarian to what all the fake gurus promise because they need to make a very big claim that is unfortunately undeliverable, but that's how they sell products because that's how they keep gas inside of their Ferraris, for example, right? But if you truly wanna build a business, whether it's five grand a month, 10 grand a month, even $100,000 a month, yes, you need to work smarter for sure, but you also do need to work harder and you need to be able to work in a way that you're able to apply consistent effort for years on end. You know, Earl Nightingale had a quote that I think is so relevant and it's never give up on a dream because of the time it will take to accomplish it. The time will pass anyways. So if it takes you three years or five years to create that pretty much hands-off cash flow that you desire from the internet with where you could put it in a maintenance mode and work for one or two hours per day and still generate 10 grand a month or more, you know, it's if the goal is big enough and it's gonna take you three years to get there or five years to get there, why wouldn't you do the daily activities to get to that point, regardless if it took three years or five years or seven years? The guiding light, the, the light at the end of the tunnel, the result of creating that kind of a business model, that kind of an asset, that kind of a cash flow is so powerful. Why wouldn't you apply the efforts day in and day out to get to that point? And this is where really ultimately dialing in and knowing yourself and understanding how much time do you have available? How much more time can you gain right? Set that alarm clock up at five in the morning. Work for three hours every morning before you go to your actual day job. Work for two or three hours before your kids wake up, before your spouse wakes up, before you have to do anything else. That's a quick way for you to regain a few hours that when you reapply those hours from sleep time to ultimately doing the activities that will get you closer to the business you desire, then it simply becomes a matter of time. It's all about committing to doing the activities and realizing that a steady, smooth pace is actually the fast way to achieve your goals. You're able to be methodical about your activities. You're able to take time to analyze the different results 
results that you get from the different actions you're taking. And all in all, you'll be able to make much more clear and focused ideas and steps and progress towards your goal of creating the successful business that you desire. If you're able to apply an accelerated pace for a few years, great. If you can dedicate right now, 10 hours a day, every day, you might be able to convince, compress that time to creating the business you desire down to a year or two. But most of us need to earn a living, right? Like when I started my business online, I didn't have the ability to work all day, every day. I had rent, I had bills, I had student loan payments. I like to eat food, I had to afford that. So I went and got a job and that job funded my lifestyle while I took every other available piece of time to work smoothly, steadily with focused efforts towards my ultimate goal. And that is how my wife and I created the business that is supporting us, that we're kind of continuing to grow to this day. And that's the same approach that you can take, but you need to make sure your activities aren't setting you up for a total crash of energy. You're not working at extreme levels for short periods of time to ultimately fall off, get overwhelmed, ignore your business for weeks on end. That will never actually get you to the goal of where you need to be. You have to be able to take daily action day in, day out, week in, week out, month in, month out. So what are those what is that smooth approach for you? Because again, slow is smooth, smooth is fast. And it might sound contradictory, it might sound counterintuitive, and it probably is. But ultimately, when you realize that you're running your race, it's only you versus you, and it's really actually an energy management game. The activities to do, the how-to, the steps, they're all covered. I've covered all of them for free on this channel. I've taught everything I know about Facebook ads, about funnels, about pay-per-click, about SEO, about growing an audience on YouTube, blogging, podcasting. You don't need to buy any courses. There is no secret out there beyond the secret of how do you get yourself in a position to take the daily actions, the weekly actions, and the monthly actions over very long sustained periods of time. When you do understand that that's the trick, you realize it's just you versus you, and you set yourself up for success by creating those time periods throughout your day, every day, that you're able to apply your work effort to creating your content, to running your split tests, whatever that is for the plan that you're following, that is ultimately when you are truly on the path to success. And at that moment, it simply becomes a question of when, how long is it gonna take for you to achieve the results that you desire? Because you will ultimately get there. If you wanna grow, if you wanna join a group of individuals who are currently kind of going through this process together, I've opened an inner circle membership program. You can find out more at contentandconversion.com. It's currently being offered for about half price. So the monthly cost is, is extremely low right now. And we've got a group of hundreds of hashtag badass on entrepreneurs who are all finding their groove, their niche, their place in the world so they can be doing their daily work. And everyone in this membership has direct access to me to ask me specific questions about their niche, about their brand, about their marketing approach, etc. Plus I'm doing live events where we're getting together. I'm reviewing people's funnels. I'm reviewing people's ads. I'm reviewing, doing basic question and answer. And there's two bonus trainings inside of there. There is the fast track to internet income, a two hour how to make money online training that I put together. It has never been released anywhere before. And the big idea workshop, which is great for advanced marketers, for people who have been on the path for a while, but also if you're really trying to refine your niche and figure out where you fit in the world of your kind of greater niche, that training is super, super valuable. Both are available for you when you log in instantly right after you complete the checkout. Um, if you're interested in learning more, go to contentandconversion.com. Whether you join us as a part of this tribe of badass doers who are all on this path, right? We're all making our way towards our next level businesses or whether you go at it alone, ultimately it doesn't matter. Know that the how-to information is available freely on this channel here, and there's other great YouTube creators who are giving very, very high quality information as well. You don't need to buy these overpriced fake guru courses anymore. You just need to do the work, and you need to find what is your personal pace? What is your smooth pace? Because that's the fastest way, and it's probably a little slower than you think think 
Find those time periods throughout your day where you can apply one to three hours dedicated on your internet business every single day, and then focus in, eliminate distractions, and do the work every single day. You'll be amazed at what you can create. It is simply a matter of time. And final note here, just remember that finish line there's no expiration date on that. If it takes you seven years to get to the goal and it took someone else four years, I'm high-fiving both of you because both of you have created a lifestyle, created an asset, created a cash flow stream that is going to offer you a level of freedom in your life. And that's the ultimate goal. Some people might do it in two years. Other people might take four years. It doesn't matter as long as you're committed to achieving the goal and then you follow through and you do what it takes. It's an energy management game. So one last time, just to make sure it's perfectly clear. Slow is smooth, smooth is fast. Find your groove, take your time. You can do this. Make sure you're applying your efforts towards the most important pieces of the puzzle, creating your content, growing your audience, growing your list, emailing your list, whether that's ads or organic traffic, it doesn't matter. It's the same path either way. Thank you very much for your time. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up here on the video. If you have any questions for me, get at me in the comments. I'm happy to connect in the comments when I have time. If you have not yet subscribed, be sure that you do because I got a new video coming out in a couple of days. It's going to be pretty awesome. If I do say so myself, I'm excited about this next video. So be sure you subscribe and I will definitely catch you on the next video. Until then, my friend, be well.